the Overwatch League store finally reset, and with that came more new skins. Uh, they're actually skins that have been released in the past, but they are fan favorite skins, and today we're going to be talking about the Midas skin and whether it is worth it or not. And so the Midas Roadhog skin can actually be found for 300 Overwatch League coins, or you can go to the Champions Bundle and get the Midas and the Zulong skin for 500. So let's take a look at the Midas Roadhog skin. So Midas is in Greek mythology, the guy that if you touch, if he touched anything, it turned to gold. And um, as you can see, there is a lot of gold on this skin and that's where that comes from. So let's start taking a look at this. So up first, let's go ahead and take a look at the head. So the first thing I wanna take a look at is this, the, the gold face mask we have. This is what looks to be the embodiment of a hog. I mean, obviously, it is road hog. And so this is hog, and it has the tusks on it as well that are made out of gold, as well as the face mask. Very, very, very cool detail. He even has this nice little white beard to give it a little bit more accent up on the face. Very cool. So his head, he even has this like little haircut that it kind of looks goofy, I'm not gonna lie to you. The haircut itself looks goofy with this just ending because the flames don't go all the way down his head. It just stops up here at the top and he just looks like he has a really bad haircut with some flames going out of the top. But he does have the nice flame that is just always on top of his head. Very, very, very cool animation. I really like that. Up next, I wanna talk about this like nice little red cloak cape thing. I don't really know what this would be considered on the skin itself, but it is just a nice little red cloth. We have this little big pin right here, and if you can, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better, but it is a finger, and it is, in particular, the pointer finger that you would most often touch stuff with, and that is the symbolism of the Midas in this skin, other than the gold. So he has a pointer finger pin to hold the cloth on, and that is very, very, very cool. On the cloth itself, there's actually these little details on there. It, they're very hard to tell. I'm also gonna have that zoomed in on here as well. But it looks to me like a fireball. That's what I get from it. So it's literally just this red fireball pattern throughout the whole cloak, pretty much. Uh, if, if I'm wrong, if you see something else, let me know in the comment section below. But moving on to the other parts of the skin, we have these nice little armor pieces. So his shoulder has this nice little spiked gold armor piece with lava or slash fire burning on the inside, kind of like accents like, his, like, the, like the head is. On his elbow, only on one elbow, uh, mind you, he has another little piece of armor on there as well as some gloves, which he has on both hands. But if you notice, one hand has rings while the other doesn't. So all of this has the accent of like the fire and the burning lava pretty much. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And also the very big belly of Homeboy Hog, he has champions with the SF. And if you don't, if like, if you don't know, uh, this is the championship skin for the San Francisco Shock that won the grand champion uh, final like the overwatch league years ago they've won it i think two or three times i think and each year the the winning team actually gets a skin and this was the skin that they got that year and so that is why the the sf is on it as for the san francisco shock but back here in the back we have what looks to be like a, a kind of like a quiver i'm not sure if that's actually what this is because it's not holding arrows or anything and hog doesn't even use these projectiles so i don't technically know why these are back here but they just look like giant missiles, almost, that have been turned into silver, so not Midas. Sidus did that, because silver Midas. Uh, but yeah, it does just kind of what that looks like. I mean, they're cool details, and it definitely adds a little bit more real estate on the back to where it's not just empty, so that is a nice little detail. I wish it would have been gold, though, so that it would have, you know, fit with the, the theme. If, if anybody knows why that's there, let me also know in the comment section below. But anyways, we're gonna go over the hook yeah, individually in a second, but the back over here, he has this nice little golden chain hook with the burning red hot chain itself. Super, super cool. I really hope we can see that off in the game. So his little feet, he just has these nice little shoes that have armor on them as well. Interesting. There's not even really any gold on there, so it just it's just like plated metal so anyways let's take a look at his kit so he has take a breather which is 
a Greek pot with the SF logo on the bottom as well. So really cool. This actually fits in with the theme of this battle pass, uh, Greek mythology. So we have the, this pattern right here is on a lot of skins in the battle pass. I will tell you that right now. So it does look very, very cool. I love that it is a Greek pot. So awesome. His scrap gun, man, and this is where you can also see the finger as well in that little pointer pointer uh, position. We have the San Francisco Shock logo on both sides of the gun. The, gold, the gun is encased in this gold and it is really, really, really pretty. I love this gun. Oh my gosh. Man, that's beautiful. And then the chain hook is the star of the show in my opinion. It is solid gold. It has this nice little flame on it as well, like the head. So it has the red hot burning accent marks with the flame animation. Dude, it's so pretty. So anyways, let's take a look at some emotes. We have the can crusher. <laughs> Head banging. Tuckered out. Secret friend. Big guy. Belly laugh. Boo. And then dance. Up next, we have our victory prizes. We have pointing to the sky, thumbs up, tuckered out, RIP, toast, mugshot, hologram, metal, and finally, what's mine is mine. And lastly, let's go over these highlight intros. We have a little piggy, whole hog, footsteps, say cheese. And finally, Feast. And lastly, let's take a look at the gold gun. And this should be interesting because, again, the entire gun is already pretty much gold except for about 40% of it. So let's see what happens to this and the chain hook, okay? I, I can't really see many things happening. But anyways, okay. Okay. So this gold isn't as, like, shiny and whatever uh, the gold would definitely look good on this skin because it is already gold it just kind of takes away a little bit of the of the oomph so it doesn't have as many accent marks on there as well I, I really feel like the original gun looks a little bit better than the gold one on this one but anyway, let's take a look at this chain hook okay okay um literally nothing nothing has changed other than nothing I except now it's just the golden one, like, look at that. L look at this, look at this. Wait, why won't it go? Eh, nothing. Nothing. No difference. All right, let's take a look at this highlight intro for Hog. Nice. Homie looks really scary up close, I'm not going to lie to you. Look at that. He is very menacing up close. All right, let's take a look at what he looks like in first person. So, what we can see when he's walking is the chain hook on the left with a little bit of the flame. You can see it uh, slightly when he is actually walking but the main star of the show is this gun so hey the jiggle physics work on here the little chain down there at the bottom actually jiggles with you and we can see what looks to be like the bronze scales on the back of the gun the gun is again encased in the gold very beautiful i love that i love the little rubies that we have on it as well so it's it's very ornate the san francisco shock logo is also in there what's it like when we shoot okay um you know just that reload animation there you go, put some more trash in there. What does our how look like? Hello. And you can see his little rings on his fingers right there. Punch, he uses his hook as well. Nice, so the hook does look really pretty in game. That thing is incredible. So what I'm really hoping here, because the only thing that we haven't used is the hook and take a breather, I'm hoping that we get to see that chain be red. Let's take a look. It is. And that is magnificent. Oh my gosh, yes sir. The Cyberhawk skin also has that feature where it's like a it's like a holographic tube and it changes up the hook. Dude, I love when Hawk skins do that. That makes the skin so much better in my opinion is when it changes the hook itself. Like, oh, look at this. You can see the red hot hook and chain. Oh, I love that. So beautiful, so beautiful. All right, what's our take a breather look like? Nice, you get to see the can right there. That is so cool. All right, I've been killing these robots trying to find some unique voice lines, and I haven't really got anything, so let's check out this alt and see if we get anything. 
Okay, he doesn't say anything. I forgot about that. So, uh, literally nothing at all new on the hog skin. And so with his whole kit and ultimate, let's go ahead and let's give homeboy hog a rating out of 10. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is a very, very, very good skin. There are not many things wrong with it. Literally, the only thing that I saw wrong with it was A, no unique voice lines on the skin at all. And the fact that his hairline is a little wonky. But that's literally not even a big deal at all. Who could I could care less. But with everything being said, this skin is seriously a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the animation for him coming to the game, you'd be able to see how big of a dude he is and how much detail is on that skin. His hook actually being bright, hot red. Literally all these beautiful gold ornate details already on the skin. It really does make for the skin to be almost perfect. It is an almost perfect Roadhog skin. Uh, the voice lines are literally the only downside with this. And so for that, I'm going to give this thing a 9.5 out of 10. And this skin is totally going to be worth it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later.